anyone with a little bit of objectivity who saw the effect that this week had on these children here would be deeply moved and deeply touched. Um, I'm Malini, and I'm here at the New Bread Bhakti Kids Adventure Camp 2012, our first annual. And all I have to say is, wow. Um, I never expected this little idea that um, Radhika and I had, and we just developed and got all the mercy from the Vaishnavas and blessings. You know, we thought it was such a small thing, but I just day, day by day I see how such an impact is made on the kids and on the adults too. Everyone's having so much fun. Um, it is my favorite part when we all play, t we all play telephone. Telephone? Yeah. Oh. And what did you do today? Well, we went to class and learned a shloka. Um, as the embodied soul continually passes uh, and in, in this body, from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The real self-realized soul is not bewildered by such And then we went out to uh, eat. <laughs> okay, Milky, for you too? Uh, my favorite was the art. We made um, these really awesome paper mache masks for the kids and I was really impressed with how creative each of them got and how individual each of their masks were. I knew exactly what they wanted and how to express themselves and even the kids who you know, are not very into art or who don't really like art found a way to make it interesting and unique and to make it their own. I was really impressed with all of them. They were really good kids and um, there were some really good artists in there. <laughs> And it's been tons of fun. My favorite, favorite part was definitely the dramas we did. Because I had a lot of fun trying to learn the lines, and I had a lot of fun um, like setting up props and watching them. My favorite part of the camp was definitely um, the drama class, the creative performance and communication class that Mina Gopal, Prabhu, and I led. Um, seeing the children being creative and especially the final performances, like trusting them and knowing that they had what it took to absorb the Hari Kata and present it effectively, and they did awesome. I was so happy and proud, and, and um, that was, it was beautiful to see them doing that for Srila Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas. <laughs> <laughs> Look, butter, but steal it. Let's take the tree for example. A tree? Why a tree? Well, <laughs> the tree gives shelter to everyone. People come and lie under it all day. And then sometimes they grab at its branches, take its fruits, flowers, leaves, but the tree never complains. Thank you so much, all of you. I'm working so hard and practicing so much. You guys are awesome. I learned how to write plays and perform them in a short amount of time uh -huh. and how to wrestle and lo uh, give people in neck locks. Now it's to Krishna. Thank you. 
Takita, 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 Takita. Great job. Good job. Woo! <laughs> talked about why the devotees dress they do and why they wear Tulsi beads and wear tilak. I really really like that because it kind of gave me things to back up like if your friends ask you why do you wear tilak? why do you wear Tulsi beads? Just like touching Tulsi. That's one of the reasons why we wear Tulsi is because we want to offer ourselves to Krishna. So we put Tulsi on so Krishna likes yeah. it. It kind of gave me some information to back that up and um, and kind of stand behind my faith. I watched one little girl, one little girl's self-esteem sky skyrocket through the roof, and that was absolutely amazing. She had a very transformative experience today. I really liked to see the relationship between the students and the counselors. I remember Sheila Gurdjieff said that Juniors should be respectful to seniors, and seniors should be affectionate to juniors. So I really saw that going on between the students and the counselors, between the counselors and the seniors like Sri Padnas Kinchi a very like spiritual community kind of thing going on. Um, really nice. It actually really touched me more than I expected. And to see the amount of growth in the kids in just one week was so powerful and to see that and know that they're the next generation who are going to be continuing Shri Gurudev's legacy and bringing it out into the world was really inspiring for us and made everything worth it. You never stop being a child, you know, like that's why Krishna, I believe, he's a child. He just, when you're a kid, you only want to have fun and just be yourself, no shame. They just bring enthusiasm to my spiritual life. They make me be like, oh, I want to be, uh, I want to try harder, I want to be more enthusiastic, and then you just bring happiness. You know, I, I like to be very real with kids, and, uh, and then in the same, they, they reciprocate that love and they show you the same thing. I learned that, you know, like that part of the kid you have inside is bringing back to life again. The most um, inspiring aspect has been seeing how we have a new generation of devotees who have grown up and are taking responsibility. Uh, Malini and Radhika and some of their other friends and supporters have done such an amazing job in taking responsibility for the children who have attended this summer camp. In the early days when we did a school, um, we learned what works and what doesn't work. And all we saw from these devotees is really what works. Uh, the new generation uh, is coming up and they're, they're brilliant, you know, they're so geniuses. And it's so fun to watch them, uh, their brains actually like grow right in front of us. And, you know, Gurudev always said that, you know, these kids are jewels and it's our, our responsibility to take care of them and look out for them. And um, I think it's really important that we try to do that. Not just for them, but for us also. <laughs> Get out here. These are one of the beautiful children. Come over here. Oh my one of the beautiful children, Gurudhadi, he is a prized gem. <laughs> And this is my beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> this is the main head person, principal, mm -hmm. and she's been working so hard. So mm -hmm. the relationships, my favorite part of this camp are, were the relationships we made. This is Atula Nanda. And he's he's so awesome and so smart. How this is Chanda. It also brings up some pain because I know that these children will be returning to their computers, their homes, their schools, their non-devotee friends in some cases, and these very deep samskars that they received here may be temporarily covered. So I, I just am praying that very soon, not just a summer camp, but a gurukul will manifest here.